But in the meantime, it looks like we really want to build Town Hall 3, Halls of War. Sounds like, a, <laughs> sounds like a terrible movie. Town Hall 3, Halls of War. Hello everyone, my name is Grayson and welcome to episode 19 of this Let's Play of Age of Wonders 4 as Liara the Phoenix. The last episode was entirely this huge combat where we lost everything but these two units. Um, but we technically won because their last handful of units routed, which was kind of surprising. I lost more units than them, so I don't know. I don't know if maybe it had to do with the fact that they were attacking and they were like... If you saw the end of the episode, they were kind of like not able to do anything for a few turns. So I think maybe the fact that their, their units are maybe like losing momentum, like metaphorically in the battle. I don't know if that would have happened if I was the attacker instead, but it's weird that I had two and they had like six or seven units left. Um, but it was really fun and, and definitely interesting. So this is the aftermath of it. We can see we collected some gold. We got away with a couple of units. Um, and then their remaining forces actually backed up to the city instead of coming after me for whatever reason. So, yeah, I don't know. I can't believe that I didn't even get enough experience to level this unit from that fight. How is that even possible? How is that possible? What the hell happened? Well, let's get the hell back to safety. Let me check my volume settings here. What the hell's going on? Okay. So now we need to get the rest of our forces. Oh, right. 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 Um, how many casting points do I have? How do I see my current tactical points? Does anyone know how to see my current tactical casting points? It should be up here, like it was in Planetfall. I do not know why they took that away. That was... Um, Feels like we should have that. I don't know. Uh, let's get this entwined protector in here. This fight's gonna be something else, let me tell you. Uh, it's a, <laughs> somehow that's a low risk battle. Holy sh oh boy. All right, uh, let's auto it and we'll see. If we don't lose any unicorns, then we're just gonna let it go. Uh, we lost a bunch of random stuff. Was that a scout? What were you doing in there? That's fine. We're just going to accept. So now we've got control of this focus crystal. So we get gold and knowledge. Units gain 10% experience globally. That's pretty cool. Uh, so City of Legends has never been stronger. They finally got rid of all of the marauders that were kind of controlling everything around here. I think all of our units are, are freed up to go and do whatever else they want now. Which is basically heading on up here. we got to take out... Take out Nebheim and then Scaffold, I think. So, let's just take... Um, we lost a couple of units, so let's go ahead and combine these two. And let's take... Who is this? Mog the Unwavering. We're just going to basically just right-click up here. And we'll probably have to spend a few turns getting up there, but I'll try to do it quickly since... Create Forest is done. Uh, static shield. Target friendly unit gains a shield that has a chance of inflicting stunned on attackers for two turns. That could be useful. We have some pretty beefy shield units that go up in the front. We've got lots of stuff to build in here. Actually, quite a bit. So, we need another farm. Or, we don't have any farms, actually. Um, no farms at all. This is two farms and a quarry, which we won't have. Oh, we can get the upgraded town hall. Let's do that. Shrine of the War God. What is that? War God's spirit to friendly units. War God's aggression. This must be a uh, barbarian culture building. That's interesting. Rot State can annex another province. Now, I think we wanted... It looks like if we do this... And then turn it into a forest. We can put some cool stuff there. Because we could... Well, do we want that? Does anything get boosted with one more? We've got quarries here. Yeah, let's, let's do this one. Create forest. Target not valid. So it has to have... 
grasslands first. Okay, we've got to queue up a whole bunch of these things here. And then we'll fix that up. But in the meantime, it looks like we really want to build Town Hall 3, Halls of War. Sounds like a, <laughs> sounds like a terrible movie. Town Hall 3, Halls of War. Focus Crystals, uh, Hero Leveled Up. Mog the Unwavering. The mob's a, uh, mob. Mog is a frontline unit. Inspiring leader, uh, minus upkeep. Strength training, all non-hero units gain 10% damage. Health for the hero himself. Um, when army leader, uh, they get accuracy and crit chance. I'm going to go with that one. The support skills seem really strong in this game. Great Forest is ready. Respond to hero offer to join. That's right, we're down a hero. Let me get in here. So we have three of four. Um, so the crypt, we could resurrect somebody. I think. No, we can't resurrect yet. Do we not have the, the building for that? What is that called? The crypt. Here we go. This lets you resurrect units. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So let's go ahead and pop that in the front of the queue here. Spine Splitter has withdrawn to the void from that fight. That's correct. Ruby the Sharp. So we will um, we'll probably resurrect. Well, this is a stronger person, so we'll probably resurrect, resurrect her. Defensive Pact between these two. That's a really bad time for that. Guys, I'm gonna murder these guys here in a, in a second. It's actually end turn. What are you up to, my friend? Mustering? Why don't you go and uh, do something? Come on. Yeah, one at a time. Yep, click, click, click. There we go. Alright, so we should have a siege down here. Now this should be pretty easy. Yeah, they're 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 quite lacking in forces here. A scout, tier one battle mages, two support units, which are fine, but they don't you know they're not really like they this is a decent damage that hit, but it's a one one shot per turn. So uh, we're just gonna auto this, and if we don't lose any unicorns, we won't have to do it manually. <laughs> We lost both unicorns. We're going to retry that because uh, this this series is dedicated to my magical unicorn brethren who are featured on the thumbnail and will, will therefore be kept alive at any cost. I didn't build any siege projects, so they have everything at their tip, fingertips here, but they're not that strong. Oh, you're just coming in. Okay, healing, that makes sense. Okay, getting quite a bit of health there, but that does mean the health is down now. I can't use it for three or three, four turns. Okay, so what do we want to start with here? Um, these big ballista guys, uh, three to 12. I wish I could um, click on this. I feel like there's a lot of things about this game that are a downgrade from Planetfall, and I hope that they get them back in here. You used to be able to check enemy ranges and stuff. It's really frustrating, because it says 12, 3 to 12, but, you know, if I don't have the grid on, I have to, like, try to figure it out. And if I do have the grid on, I still have to count. It's just, you should just be able to tell, but whatever. Um, so we've got sword and shield units here. We also have caltrops there, so we got to watch out for that. Send a couple of birds over here to uh, try to kill off this crossbow thing. Hmm. Sunder defense and burning. Okay, so it's burning down. The real fight happens here. Now we have a lot of these dumb animal units that aren't very strong, and we also have some really good ones. So we're inferno puppies. Have to run through the caltrips if I go this way, which will make me start bleeding, unless I want to attack the caltrips, 
which I might do. There we go. So now these caltrips here are down, so we could... Well, I don't know. We'll decide. We'll decide. Uh, conjure a tier one animal. Actually, I want to be like there. And then do I have anything? I've got the fire thing here that's pretty helpful actually I could ooh I could pop it right here everything's everything but the hero is burning that's good also have my web spit but they're conveniently out of range huh? uh, we've got the invigorate we'll probably need that over here Okay, I'm going to try to draw them out a little bit further. So I'm going to go into defense mode here. Their towers are going to fire on me, and then I can run in. The towers are... They're real bad in this game. I don't know why they made the towers so bad. They took away militia and made the towers worse. They added all the cool defense projects, like caltrips and... Like, that kind of stuff. And that's really cool, but I don't understand why they decided to make the um, the defending of a city. It just feels not good. I guess they replaced militia and tower support with having to take time, but that doesn't... Once the time limit's up, you still have a crappy defense force. So, I don't know. I just don't know. Spare. Uh, we have a buff. Yeah, all friendly animals and cavalries. Should have cast that right away. That's okay. It's still time. Look at all these animals we're going to get buffed up. It's pretty amazing. There we go. I didn't use the, the web attack here. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful attack. You can fire from right here. Um, got heroes. I think I'll take this 50% hit right here. Come on, get the burning on there. Dang, okay. Now this is a summon. You can't attack the walls. You really have... Pretty, you can't detect the walls either. Do I have anybody with Demolisher? So you can attack walls. Uh, these don't have Demolisher, so I really I have to go in through the doors. <laughs> Which kind of sucks. Burning resisted, that's fine. Now they're pinned in melee. So we're gonna open up that doorway and get in there. We may also teleport in behind them here, but I'm probably gonna wait a turn, because again, I really want... I'm gonna put these guys right here, let them bleed, and they're just gonna stand there being menacing. Overcharge. Cast another spell this turn. Three fortune. 
I've already used these ones. Okay, we got that tower down over there. So now we're gonna try to sneak in basically through here. Try not to run over the caltrips if I can if I can do it. Thunder defense and burning. Should have gone there to tie them up. Oh well. Oh, I can still. No, I can't do it. Oh yeah, I can. Here we go. That's weird. Wasn't allowed to fly there. That was strange. So misunderstood what I was seeing there. Let's get you over here. Keep you in defense mode. Prepare you to teleport in. Who all is on fire over here? Looks like nobody. Fire resistance. What do they have back here? They have a um, tier one battle mage. They're not very strong. Um, this one's pretty strong. This is their actual tier two defense unit. I might burn them. There's some models here over time. Inferno puppies. Start with bringing these ones over. Let's go all the way over this way, and then we're gonna go ahead and sunder these guys. Take some models off of there, and then we can go in and just just beat them up. Yeah, they're so wounded now they can't really do anything. Um, so these regular spiders. Gonna hit this while I'm here. Okay, and then you're gonna fly over to here. Take this thing out because it'll be able to fire next turn. Okay, so I think this is, it's time for unicorns. that one alive. I'm going to knock some, some models down out of that unit there. And my puppies are getting low. Uh, so if here, it looks like I can get a decent shot by just shooting three times. Um, maybe before I do that, I get the three fortune out in a one hex radius. We can ignore the puppies. I think I'm going to have to have them retreat. 
And I can also have them start taking it. Here we go. If I go over here, I can take out these caltrips. Try to get a spider in there, but it's a little dangerous. Um, the other option I have... Yeah, let's let's shoot the the bow first. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that'll knock their morale down, that's for sure. Okay, so we go up to here, and then we jump to here. Target cannot be affected. Oh, they can't retaliate, I see. Let's try to fire. Let's try to shoot them down so that we can run through. Okay, there we go. This tower is burning. Let's run over and hit the, the tower thing. It'll burn out at the end of its turn. Actually, we might be able to kill it. Um, these guys do pretty small amount of damage, so probably better off shooting down this, this guy here. I got a crit. Alright. You don't have a teleport, do you? Okay, we've got these baby spiders here. Okay, they're down to not much. Oh, ooh, are they fleeing or about to? They're about to flee. Okay. Got one of my something, my puppies, one of my hounds, which is fine. Um. Oh, they're going after the crows. Yeah, they're killing off my tier one random animals I've spawned. That is fine. Ideally, of course, they live and evolve, but if someone's got to die, it should be my lame units. I've got frozen, frozen unicorns. Look, it looks like they've got an Instagram filter over them. Mm. All right, you. What does despair do? Five morale. Oh, so that's why they're having morale problems so much is we're actually filling them with despair. Also, killing them. That'll do it, too, I think. Two misses and a graze on a 50%? That's, uh... That's fun. Wait, why are you so slow? Slowed. Well, there you go. All right, so if I move over one, I get a better shot, but I guess I have a crit chance, so I'd rather take multiple shots. Let's do this. A 
Okay. Not ideal. There we go. Uh, the enemy is fleeing. No, let's kill them. That might be the last unit anyway. Okay, so we lost tier ones. Oh, we did lose a carrion bird, actually. Uh, that's okay. That is okay. All right, so we got 153 gold, and this should be the end of Acreon. Celebrating the defeat of Acreon the Endless. You have crumbled the last defenses of Acreon the Endless and cast him into the Astral Void, banishing from this realm. Uh, whatever the future holds, he's a thorn in your side no more. How will you commemorate this extraordinary victory? We receive Imperium. Hold a parade. Spare no expense. So let, uh, are we evil or good? Oh, we're good in this one. Sorry, again, I'm playing like three games at once right now. Sp spiritually guide Acreon uh, the Endless to Mage Haven. I have to pay money? What? Uh, let the moment pass. Um, let's... You're a good boy. And you're an evil boy now. What the heck? So I could lose... Now, gold has been something that I've been struggling with for a while, so... I don't really want to do that either. I think I'm just going to say do, do nothing here. Being dead is good enough. Vassalize. And then I'm going to leave them here to deal with their own shit. Huh? So I think we just take probably everybody and just go to the to the north. Um, they have a marauder group right here. I might leave someone behind to deal with that. This is my faction leader herself. She's strong. Okay, let's just like right click here. Okay, so they're healing up. City of Legends can annex the Enchanted Den. That'll be cool. Ancient Cave grants Imperium, Production, and Mana. Wow, that's kind of a lot of good stuff there. And then what does this add for me? Well, first of all, we got another Inferno Hound. Let's just send him up. This will give me the Storm Scale Serpent and Plague Serpent into the Rally of Lieges, which I already have. But it probably adds more, I would guess. I don't know. Hmm, do I want any of these? She is... A militant warlord. She is a barbarian. Bloodfang orcs. So ruthless raiders, fabled hunters. Range units and skirmishes are stronger. They are... So they're the orcs. They have spawn kin. So, so they're going to have, I can't remember what books she has so far. I don't think I need pikemen per se. Warlocks are pretty good. That's frost damage. We have steel shapers, night guards. Yeah, I think I'll ignore the, the lieges right now. Hero leveled up, Lorash Killstealer, who is a magic shooty boy here. So let's see what we have in here. We've got Frost Evoker Weaver. Refresh your abilities and once per combat abilities. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. We have Restore the Land. And then we have Create Forest. And then we want to migrate that over to a 
Forester. Summon Entwined Protector. Hero offers. No, we're gonna we're gonna resurrect. So we've got remains of more people in here, but we're not getting any any stuff right now because we don't have the um, the, the appropriate buildings in our capital. We are building that here soon. We might also want to get the the prison cells to get knowledge. That way you can convert or execute people. Maybe I'll pop that in there for next as well. Negotiations. Okay. We're making lots of friends here. Okay, so we are ready to end turn. So let's, uh, let's end this episode here. I want to thank everybody so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series so far. I can't wait to see if um, Lion Boy here actually goes in and starts helping. That would be really great if he would. Uh, but I'm not so sure he's going to. Uh, but yeah, so once we get all of our forces up here, we can just, I think we can probably steamroll through her. I don't know how strong she is anymore at this point. Um, where is the... We are first in military, second in expansion, fifth in magic victory, but first in score. So if we do manage to get to turn 150, we'll win with score, but that's not going to happen, is it? So thanks again for watching. I hope you will like and subscribe if you're enjoying this content, and I will see you in the next episode.